Hi, I'm John Bloomberg. I'm an EMT with the 911 system in New York State and CEO of Core Medical Systems. And we're talking about some of the life-saving equipment in our Traveler Rescue Kit. Today we're going to talk about pulse oxygenation. This is a finger pulse oximeter. Now this unit is included in your kit. When it arrives, it will have the batteries not installed in the unit itself, but installed um, in, the, in the box itself. To install the batteries, slide the back door off, observe the polarity of the batteries, install them, and then slide the door back on. To use the, um, the SpO2 or pulse oximeter, simply push this button here. It's telling me finger out now, which means that there's no finger in there, and if you want it to work, you have to stick a finger in. I'll insert my finger, and let's see what it's telling us. It's telling us that I have a 98% oxygen saturation level and my heart is beating around 66 beats per minute, which for me is normal. Now why is all this stuff important? It's important because generally people oxygenate between 96 and 100%. Um, below 94% in New York State, our protocol is to give oxygen at or below 94%. Um, and that's 100% oxygen via a non-rebreather mask, and we'll talk about that in a different video. Um, some people who may have readings in the 80s uh, might have, might have uh, COPD, and for them, long-term oxygen is harmful to them. However, in the short term, if they're having trouble breathing, you can give them oxygen for a short period of time. You may find that someone has 100% oxygenation level with the SpO2 meter, but see that they have some sort of a ruddy complexion and they may have come out from an engine room or something like that. Um, these people may have carbon monoxide uh, poisoning. Uh, if they do, their oxygen saturation level will be 100%, but these people need 100% oxygen, even though their saturation level is so high. Uh, the carbon monoxide binds with the blood, uh, the red corpuscles in your bloodstream, just the way oxygen does and gives a false reading. In addition, uh, if someone has nail polish on, uh, the SpO2 meter, since the way it works, is it sends two beams of um, infrared light through your nail into the, um, into the body, into the bloodstream, the capillaries, um, it will have trouble reading. So you may get a false reading if someone is wearing nail polish. I'm John Bloomberg. I'm with Core Medical. Uh, you can see us on the web at corecpr.com. Give us a call at 212-873-0105 or send me an email. I'm at jjb at corecpr.com. We'd love to hear from you. Uh, thank you so much.